Hey guys, Larry the Tractor Guy here. Hey, real quick, I've got a customer that's got a 9530 four-wheel drive tractor here. He's called in, reported that he's got some electronic problems going on. Not sure what he's got going on, but he's got a lot of weeds growing out in his fields and really wanting to get this plow in the field and get running here. And he said he came out today and the tractors had bad batteries. In other words, the batteries were completely dead so he put a new set of batteries in and now he's getting a bunch of communication codes and the tractor will not start and then whenever you turn the key on and try to start the tractor sometimes the windshield wipers come on and operate by themselves, and then just multiple display codes and a bunch of uh, crazy things happening and then when i turn the key on what i got here I could hear a lot of noise up here on the engine and so I'm getting a lot of noise out of the turbo actuator up on top of the engine for no reason with the key on so I connected service advisor made a connection and I've discovered during my connection that I had a lot of codes ending in 09 which are basically communication codes so I had <clears throat> the CLC uh, communication codes, the engine controller communication codes, transmission controller communication codes, armrest controller communication codes, active seat codes, uh, just a bunch of random things going on here. So I cleared all of the codes and then refreshed and then what came back right as soon as I turned the key on was the CLC 158.17. And so that's the one that I've kind of been focused on, um, the CLC 158.17. And that says CLC control unit switched supply voltage low with engine off. Okay, and that was actually one of the first codes that came back active after we cleared all the codes and then refreshed and turned the key on. So I went ahead and, and kind of chased that code as being maybe the root cause of a lot of the other codes so the clc stands for cab load center controller okay i'm going to show you where that's at real quick here on the track cab load center is here behind the rear of the cab on the inside of the cab the seat move forward so there is the cab load center or implement gateway controller however you want to say that and so i believe that's where part of our problem is at okay and so we dug into that for a little bit. And what we found was in Service Advisor, it had us check voltage here. So we had good voltage here. And then in Service Advisor, it also had us check voltage at these three connectors at various pins terminals in the connector side with the key on. So we had voltage everywhere we needed to check voltage. We had 12 volts. Okay, so uh, we went down through the steps of checking voltages and grounds at the clc and what we found was is that we did not have ground at any of these three connect kind of backtracked in my schematic and i'm going to show you what i found here in a minute but i want to show you what's going on here so we're going to go ahead and start the tractor up as soon as we turn the key on we get a clc 158.17 i'm going to go ahead and try to start the tractor okay the tractor did start Notice the windshield wiper is working on its own, okay? It's doing its own thing. The wiper is turned off, by the way. The display here just went blank. The corner post display is blinking on and off, if you can see that, okay? The hydraulic display over here on the side console is just blinking on and off and, and uh, trying to reset. Okay, constantly trying to reset. The side console display here flashed on and off once. Windshield wiper still going. I'm sitting in the seat now and the seat is just airing up on its own. It's got active seat. So we remember when we looked at the service advisor, we had active seat codes. We do have throttle now, but a few times we did not have any throttle response. I can hear the turbo actuator out there still making noise and just kind of doing its own thing. Really weird and strange things going on here. And so it's kind of like what to do. 
and reminds me of a ground issue right off of the bat. So I chased through the grounds, didn't find any ground at the CLC controller here. So we didn't have any good grounds there. As I went back into Service Advisor and went back down through my diagnostics following that 158.17 code. And what I actually started looking at was the schematic. And I think I've talked about this before, but it's really a good idea to go back and look at your schematic. I found this little hyperlink schematic here, looked at that, kind of blowed that up where I could see that. I can see right away that I've got one of my um, connectors there for the CLC. Actually two of those, A922X2 and A922X3 that both use a common ground. Okay, and this is some of the grounds that had us check in Service Advisor during testing is checking the M2 terminal and the L2 terminal and the C2 terminal. I did not have voltage on those terminals, okay? And so I just kind of dropped down through here and tried to figure out, okay, so where do I get my ground? Okay, and so I found this ground strap, okay, here at the X50A, and I took a look at that. That's inside of the cab, and it ties some grounds together, sort of like a splice connector, okay? And then I came back and looked again and also found that the X050D is also a ground that ties everything to chassis ground, okay? And so I'm gonna show you what I found real quick. And I found this problem before various times over the years. And uh, so basically, here's our, here is our 050, X050D ground connector, okay? So when you look at these, it has a, ground strap here that's plugged into it okay and so this thing was plugged in couldn't figure out what was wrong i went ahead and took my alligator clip came over here to the back of the chassis got a good ground there at one of the main ground points okay got my ohm meter over here checking ohms okay so we can ohm out that ground and get that where you can kind of see that there and uh went ahead and turned my alert on hard to see that there and went ahead and touched that okay and several times that i touched that ground strap there i had really really high resistance okay it's making a good connection now because basically because i've been checking this and unplugging it and sort of pretty well found my problem okay so i'm going to show you what i found here real quick so when i unplugged that I got to looking at the terminals in the connector of that main ground there, okay? And I found right there, if you can see that pin on the very end, okay, it was really, really loose. So basically what was happening here is we were making a bad connection, a bad ground, and that's where the main ground comes into this, into this, zero five x zero five zero d ground connector okay and so we're basically making a bad ground there because we've got a bad terminal in the plug real quick so what i want to show you here is how many codes were generated by the faulty ground at the x zero five zero d ground splice connector on the rear of the cab that supplied grounds to the CLC controller. And so there were 68 codes here, okay? If you can see that in Service Advisor, pulling that down, there were 68 different codes generated and basically hit a lot of ECU codes, a lot of ICU codes and PTP transmission, um, vehicle load center, CLC codes. That was a lot of codes that were generated by one bad ground, okay? So keep that in mind when you're dealing with these ground issues that they can generate a lot of codes and it's hard to decide which code to follow, okay? But um, what led me to the CLC 158.17 was I cleared all the codes, cycled the key. That was one of the first codes that became active again 
And so I went ahead and went with that code and luckily we found our problem. This is not something that you'll always find, okay? But I have found this several times over the years. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, probably go ahead and pull that terminal out of that connector, put a new terminal in there and get that nice and tight and uh, get this tractor back up and running. Hey guys, check out Larry the Tractor Guy videos here, other videos here, subscribe here, and buy all your John Deere parts here. We'll make it work. I think we're gonna have to make it. We'll work. make it work. Come on, let's go. <laughs> we need to make you need some bloopers. Y'all already burning me out. Y'all already burning me out. We're sitting in the sun over here, man.